Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I wanted to share an outfit of the day with you guys. It was finally cold enough here in Houston to actually wear a coat and a sweater and some boots. So I did all three of those things together in one outfit and I just wanted to share it with you guys. I'm wearing some new boots that I love and this new coat that I purchased before Christmas, um, actually around Thanksgiving, and have not even taken the tags off until today because it has not been cool enough for a coat, um, something this thick. And this coat is like Eskimo status coat. It's like, yeah, Woo. I love it. But um, like I said, it just has not been cold enough. So let me stand back there so you can see, and then I'll take the coat off and show you my sweater dress, which is an oldie, but a goodie. Um, so really quickly. My coat is by Carl Lagerfeld, or Lagerfield, and it is just beautiful. It's super duper warm. This thing is <laughs> it's so nice and plush um, and huge. It's just, yeah, it's like major. I just like flicking it up. Isn't that cool? Just like flicking it up. So loving the hood on that. Um, and it just ties, it zips as well, um, but it ties around and I love it. Absolutely love it. So, okay, let me show you guys my, and here's the inside that's the inside it is lined and it's got two pockets and then it says Carl Lagerfeld Paris on it and um, with a huge hood so here's my sweater dress and my boots which I'm loving and then the purse that I carried today was this one And my boots, which are by Steve Madden, they are really pretty, knee high, over the knee, actually, they come up to here. Over the knee boots, which I love, they fall a little bit, but they're really pretty. And I've worn them both with this dress and then also with some blue jeans tucked in, and they tuck in very nicely. So they're big enough to have something tucked into them. Um, but really, really pretty. I'll show you the detail of those up close a little bit better. So you can see it really pretty kind of crazy huh to get my whole leg in there um so yeah nice and they're very very comfortable they have a good sized heel that is substantial enough i don't feel like i'm too wobbly on them and then my dress it's a cashmere just a gray cashmere dress that i've had for literally years i've probably had this at least 10 years and it's just a great great quality too um it came from Saks Fifth Avenue, and it's like their own label, um, and I can't remember what the label says in the back, but it's it's really nice, very comfortable, um, and just, you know, it's a great piece. It's good with these, and then also with heels and tights, um, but it also goes really nicely with a pair of Converse tennis shoes, which I think is really, really nice um, when you're just kind of hanging out. Um, and then my purse, which is my Tory Burch Emerson tote that I love, and on my face today, on my lips I have on the Yves Saint Laurent lipstick in the shade 09 which is a rose it's the <sighs> Rouge Pour Couture but it's a rose kind of shade it's really really pretty it's very it's kind of your lips but rosier if you will not pinker but just rosier so really nice and then on my eyes um, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills in hot chocolate bangle through the crease cream all over and then I went in with the Smashbox full exposure palette the small one the travel size one and I put the silver kind of gunmetal glitter on my lid from here into here and it's just a really pretty kind of metallic lid that it creates but I thought it picked up really well with the gray of the cashmere um, and then my nails don't judge this is icking me out and I'm about to go take it off but this is the all access pass Nail polish by Essie, which I love, but I put the Revlon gel manicure top coat on it, and this happened. And it's really kind of, you know, grossing me out because for two days I wore it without a top coat and it was fine. The color was fine. And then I painted the Revlon gel whatever top coat, and that happened literally. I painted it this morning. This happened this afternoon. Um, and I know, you know, I mean, I'm not 
Like I don't, I'm not delicate with my hands. I wash dishes. I clean up after children. So I'm always, you know, sweeping floors, doing something. So I know I knock my fingers a lot, but at the same time, I just did not expect it to chip so quickly. Just that is that. Um, but anyway, back up to what I was talking about. Um, I do have on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator on my cheekbones, the smash, no, Anastasia Beverly Hills Fawn to contour with on my cheeks. I have on a Mac blush and I don't remember the name of it. It's a brand new one that I just picked up um, and I don't know the name, so I'll have to go look at it, but it's pretty much in tone with this because you guys know that I pretty much do the same blush and lip color um, together. I never really stray from, I kind of keep them similar. So my blush and my cheeks always, my cheeks and my lips always match. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend so far and thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.